In the previous video, we learned about layouts, which are UI components shared between multiple pages in an application. Each app has a mandatory root layout, which is the topmost layout. In our case, that is layout.tsx present in the app folder. It's important to note that layouts can be nested. For instance, if you want to create a layout specifically for product details page, we can create a layout.tsx file within the product details folder. So within the product ID folder, let's create a new layout.tsx file. Let me copy paste the code for a simple React component and walk you through the code. Once again, we have a default export of a React component with a children prop. In this case, the children prop corresponds to the product ID page.tsx. In this layout, I've added a simple heading that says featured products. Although we won't dive into the implementation details, you can imagine this as a carousel of featured products being displayed below this heading. Now, if we navigate back to the browser and go to the root localhost 3000, we will see the root layout, which consists of the header and footer, but not the product details layout. Navigating to slash products will also display the same behavior. However, if we navigate to a specific product, so products slash one, product slash two, or even products slash 100, we will see the featured products section. This is because the rendering process works as follows. The root layout within the app folder is rendered first, which includes the children prop representing the product ID folder. The product ID folder has its own layout. This replaces the children prop in the root layout. Finally, the page.tsx file in the product ID folder replaces the children prop in the product ID layout, which is why we see details about product 100 and then featured products. This approach of nested layouts allows us to create layouts that apply only to specific areas of our application. Here is a visualization of nested layouts in the new app router. For localhost 3000, layout.tsx within the app folder is rendered. For slash products, page.tsx replaces children props in the root layout. For products slash one, the layout file replaces the children prop in the root layout. This layout now contains featured products as a section. Finally, page.tsx.jsx replaces the children prop in the product ID layout file. So product slash one, we have the header and footer from the root layout, featured products from the nested layout, and product one from page.tsx. If you navigate to slash product slash two, only the children props is replaced by the JSX returned for product ID equal to two. The key takeaway here is that Next.js app router supports nested layouts, enabling a lot of flexibility and customization. All right, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.